I never ever regret going to those events. Good morning and welcome back to our community. It's Monday in New York City. It's beautiful out. Half my jacket's off because I'm sweating and was about to take it off, but then I was like, I have to record a vlog clip, so here we are. And I'm um, walking into P-Vault right now, rushing. We're gonna do a little P-Vault workout this morning, and we'll chat after. so good it always does I feel like I got a burn okay I'm realizing one of my favorite p-ball classes is the strength and burn because it's half the like strength sculpt class and then half cardio burn so I get more of a sweat in and like some cardio in and it's like the best of both worlds so I'm realizing that's my favorite now we're gonna run to Trader Joe's just get all the errands done early in the morning so we can post up for the day edit do all of the things or what is everyone staring at it's 2022 <laughs> I also just got my second consultation client, so I'm very excited to talk about it in a few. Oh my god, Al. I don't think there is a harder workout than lugging groceries across New York City. Just gonna start the vlog with a pro tip. If you're looking for apartments to move to New York City, make sure there's a grocery store close by. And not like a stupid expensive one, like even a Whole Foods would be great. Just make sure because this is only like six blocks up and then one avenue over. So it's like an 11 minute walk. So that's totally fine. And there's a West Side Market right here. So if we need something quick, we can go there. It's just overpriced. Make sure because you don't want to end up lugging your groceries like on the subway or anything that's. So if you're ever like, this price of rent looks a little too good. Look up the closest grocery stores and closest subway stations. If you're not near either of those, it's gonna be a little cheaper. All right, grocery home Monday. We got spinach, we got arugula, strawberry, avocado, banana. I love having strawberries at night with like some sunflower butter and chia seeds. Brussels sprouts, green beans, zucchini noodles, coconut milk, cause Ethan's been loving that recently. I don't know if he drinks it or makes like curries with it. I don't really know what he does with it. Flaxseed, we ran out. Trader Joe's is the best place to get like your chia seeds, like all those expensive things. One apple, one lemon. Got a lot of like salad things, cucumber, baby corn. This we've been loving recently for either a snack when you're like starving after work or for salad. So like today, I'm gonna have eggs for breakfast and then make a salad. Cucumber base with baby corn and I got hearts of palm and chickpeas and things like that and turkey. Very excited. This I thought everyone knew about, but in case you don't, they're organic quinoa, they're brown rice, they're wild rice. All it is is like organic brown rice that's the only ingredient and it's already cooked and then it's frozen. So anytime you wanna make something with brown rice or quinoa or wild rice, which is my favorite, you just pop one of these packets in the microwave for three minutes and that's it. It's already cooked, it's organic, there's no like preservatives added to it. It's amazing. So I always have those on hand to add to any dinner. Some hummus for my corn tortilla chips I have here and an onion. I'm trying to get better about like mixing it up and not only having it all the time and then just feta and parmesan i love this shaved parmesan for salad and ethan already got protein from whole foods the other day so we're set with that lastly aloe vera juice apparently it's good for SIBO. see if it tastes good if it doesn't i'll just add it or take shots of it i don't really know but i saw it for a dollar fifty and i was like let's just try it because apparently it's good for you and frozen for for smoothies i'm gonna put this away and i'm listening to jay shetty's podcast with gary v it's really good Okay, I just recorded my podcast intro. That's all you missed. And ate something, but... And I almost broke you, but we're okay. It's already 12 and I want to edit my vlog. I have a bunch of things to do, which would be fine if I didn't just get an email saying or a DM saying, can't wait to see you tonight. Like we have your set all picked out. They gave me a set. 
basically a few weeks ago I got reached out to say do you want to come to this Alala event it's a bar and that's like my favorite brand so I really want to make a connection with them and they were like what's your size we're gonna do a bar workout and I was all here for it but I never put it in my calendar and they never sent a calendar invite so I forgot and if it was like any other workout and they didn't like have a set for me and everything and it was just like they invited me in to try a class I would be like no sorry I forgot but they already like had they spend money to give gift me this set and I just feel like I need to keep the connection so I'm gonna go unless I change my mind later but I just completely forgot about it and I got a little anxious because I'm like I wouldn't have done a whole people workout I'm not a two workout a day girly I'm not that is not me I am a one hit wonder every day and then I move on with my day and it's done and I just don't like over exercising sure it's fine it's just too low impact workouts thank god but like 6 30 also I'm so not a nighttime girl like I'm gonna be making dinner at 6 30 and be done by 8. It's a good opportunity. So I'm gonna go, but I'm not gonna lie, it's making me a little anxious. So it's already 12. I'm gonna go to Ethan's WeWork to edit just so I can like I feel like I get tired if I'm here editing all day. So I'm gonna go edit from his WeWork. There's free cold brew. Just get out of the apartment. It's annoying because it's a 25 minute walk, which like wastes a lot of time. But if I can edit TikToks on the way, send some emails or something while I'm walking over, it's worth it. And it's just worth it to get out of the apartment. So I'm gonna do that. Stay awake, stay alive, stay kicking. Also, I need to bring lunch. So I'm making a quick cucumber salad, chicken feta, avocado, hearts of palm. Cucumber, feta, hearts of palm, avocado, grilled chicken, and then I just put some lemon and olive oil and everything but the bagel seasoning and all that. So good, I love a lettuce salad. All right, I was working at Ethan's WeWork all day and then I headed home really quick touched up. It's so sweaty and gross here in the city. And I have to the cab because I'm running late to this event with the Lala. I'm really excited to see what the set is. I'll definitely show you everything. It's a bar workout, I believe, and then a set. And I think that's it. We'll see. I don't I don't even remember. I've been running like a chicken with its head cut off, so I don't even know what I'm doing. I think it's gonna be fun. Uh, the Uber, I mean the cab. Always take a cab, it's so much cheaper. And let's try to find this place. It's called Energy. There's a lot of events here. And I've just never been. Ever regret going to those events there's always girls that like I know of or they know me or we're internet friends and like didn't realize the other one was gonna be there and then I finally get to meet them it's like always well, that always happens and if not I end up meeting new girls like I met I think her podcast is called what the fuck is up or something like that and I finally met her and she's so cool so yeah I just always meet so many people and I didn't feel too like burnt out from the workout this morning it's not like I did rumble or something crazy so it was a nice sweat. The instructor is incredible. I'm gonna have her on my podcast. She reminds me of Mary from Selling Sunset so much. She was really, really helpful with like being mindful of my shoulder that hurt. Just like such good energy for a second workout of the day. I needed that. She like pushed me in the best way and it was so fun. Now let's get a cat home because it's already 7.45 and I cannot walk 30 minutes home. Happy Tuesday. I'm trying out Humming Puppy to make a TikTok review of a yoga studio 
because I'm so freaking sore from the two workouts yesterday. Oh my God. So we're gonna do some yoga. I think it's lightly heated. Kind of a muggy day outside, I'm not gonna lie. We gotta get our coffee first, you know how it goes. I didn't use my slick back gel like I normally would, especially for a yoga class because I showered last night and I just feel like let's keep the soft hair even though I'm probably gonna be sweating. It's a lightly heated class, but when you're in there for an hour moving, I usually don't like to do heated in the morning, but here we go. <laughs> made some food and now I'm sitting down finally to edit my vlog and then Shelby's vlog and then we have Rumble, a classic day in my life. But I'm just exhausted. I worked out twice, twice yesterday and yoga this morning, which was much more relaxing, but I'm still just like, my body needs rest. So unfortunately I'm already scheduled for a workout tomorrow. I would cancel it if it was just a regular class, but I'm going into a PR agency's office to try out the climber machine workout. So it'll be good. I just need to like really rest and take care of myself. I'm just tired, but the coffee's for. So now I'm just editing my video. God, I hate how I feel when I edit or do anything at home all day. I end up procrastinating and I'm just in a dark room. I hate it, but at least I know that. Now I'm running to Rumble to work the desk all night. I know my period's coming because I'm starting to doubt myself and get depressed and it happens every time since leaving birth control. Hi to everyone who's looking at my video in the background. <laughs> Good morning, it's Wednesday. I ended up working at Rumble half the day at night, so I think I vlogged a little in the morning. I cannot remember. Oh yes, at yoga. Today, we have like really big days. Okay, shout out to Rachel Joy because you just commented on my last vlog that I'm a queen and these comments mean the world to me, especially when you're like just growing a community on YouTube. It just, the comments like are everything to me, so thank you. Big freaking day today. So we have three meetings that I need to be like on my A-game for. One specifically, but I'm gonna use this time right now to like prepare for a few of them. So we're starting the day going over to a PR agency to try out the climber machine. I'm getting like a one-on-one -on -one workout with a trainer in their showroom with the machine. Hopefully they let me film so that I can do like an I tried the climber machine video for you guys and like a TikTok and all the things. If not, I'll show some clips on here. After that, headed over to Fideye to work from my sister's apartment for the day. Take care of the dogs because it's Wednesday. That's my new Wednesday routine. I have a consultation call with someone who is on my podcast, Morgan. She does like all things get gut health and healing. She's one of my clients now for consultations where I'm going to help her launch her own podcast. Just make sure she has equipment, scheduling, distributing her podcast to Spotify, iTunes, graphic design, all of the things. We'll get her all set up. Then I have a call with a potential client where I would be helping them. They're launching a brand and I'd go work with them on site for a full day to help them get all social media content together, reels, TikToks, like a whole content day where I would basically be producing and editing all of their content for a flat rate. So I have a call with them to just discuss what they're looking for. I could tell them what I can do for them. Lots of meetings today. I'm happy I'm gonna be working for my sister's apartment. So after like, it's like the PR agency thing where I'm doing the workout and meeting with them is in the morning, we get that over with and then I can just be in a nice space with puppies for the other things. So that's the day. Meetings, meetings, meetings. Lots of cold brew needed today. And I'm watching Lauren Geraldo's new NYC apartment first day in New York vlog and I cannot believe she's here, so hopefully I see her one day. I'm gonna sip on my coffee and just like do some prep for all of these things I have coming up today. I got 66 TikTok followers overnight. That's pretty good. The most I've ever woken up with is like maybe 10, 15. What is, uh, it's my workout class review, the humming puppy we went to the, yesterday. I made a TikTok after and has 17.5K views. Wow. So hopefully we can do a climber one today and then we're doing New York Pilates tomorrow and we can keep the momentum going. That's really exciting. This is my new favorite trend. I did two of them last night while at Rumble. Let me know if you get this one because it's super niche. <laughs> Thank you. 
This one, if you watch Housewives, you'll get. I just find it so funny, the trend. I love it. And all I watch is reality TV, so it's like I have so many people I could do this too. So you have overhand grip, you have underhand grip, you have also neutral. So what we're going to do is, yes, you want to sit back a little bit, like in a semi-squat, exactly. You want to be very much so. Okay. Right? So you want to be parallel with the uprisers. Okay. And let's give you a 10-minute Tabata. That was so fun, such a cool machine. I was sent with a shit ton of goodies, so I'm just carrying a lot and I have to go down to Five Eyes. I'm hopping in a cab. I don't know why I keep doing that so much this week. It's just one of those weeks. It's hot, there's a lot to carry. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you at my sister's apartment. Look who we have here, Leo. And you're wagging your tail. I can't. Look who we have here, Olive. You're wagging your tail too. Oh, you want a belly rub, don't you? Before we take them on a walk, I want to do a little unboxing because basically I just went to a PR agency. I demoed the climber machine, as you saw. One of their like new trainers was there. They showed me everything it has to offer and then gifted me with a bunch of products of companies that they rep, so I want to unbox it maybe for TikTok and we'll try out some products and see if we have any new favorites. The lighting's not great in here. It's definitely better than my apartment, who am I to speak, but there's like no overhead lights. That's a weird thing in New York City apartments. They like don't put lights in sometimes, so I'm gonna have to order like a ring light or something. Okay, I just officially unboxed it over on TikTok, but let me give you guys an unboxing as well. Real quick rundown. Olive ran away because I screamed when I opened the candle. It's from Otherland. I don't know how to repackage it, but if you have never had an Otherland candle, it's such a nice gift because look at the packaging and then look how pretty the actual set is. The actual candle is so pretty and they always give you like a matching matches. So this flavor is a ruby root. It smells like, what does it say? It says on top, sugar beets, grass, and ginger. It smells so good. I'm really excited about this. I'm also going to their event on Thursday night, I believe. They're opening a store in New York, so I'm gonna go to that event and I will film there as well. And then I don't know what SH Beauty is, or oh, maybe it's Simi Haze, maybe it's the same brand, but look how cool this lip like packaging is. I'm not a beauty influencer, I know that was blurry, but then they gave me mascara, matte lip balms, and invisible lip balm. I will definitely try those out when I get home. And Climber sent me like some compression socks and stuff, but look, they sent me, or gave me a water bottle that also acts as a foam roller. You know who's gonna love this, Ethan. Excited to show him. I'm starving, so I'm gonna eat, and then I'll take you puppies for a walk, and then we have work to do. And that's the agenda. I'm gonna go for a walk. So much to know that in my little meat. Ethan, if you're watching this, yes, we're getting a dog. Ethan doesn't want a dog in here, City. But we will come into mother wise, right? <sighs> okay, I kind of feel like I am dying because of my period. I just got it today, and my cramps are like, they make me feel like I'm gonna pass out so bad. If you're new here, I got off birth control a few months ago, so I'm back to the reason. The reason I went on birth control was because my period cramps were so bad literally 11 years ago and now we're right back there. Except I am a more mature adult now and can keep my cool and not scream in a ball like I used to when I was little. But I just had to run and get my doll because my sister doesn't even have Advil here and my doll works wonders. And my back hurts like I just... Ugh. I have a very important call in an hour so I'm just gonna lay in fetal position for a little until it kicks in. It took 20 minutes to rest and now it's starting to subside a little. And I know caffeine helps, or so I tell myself, so I'm gonna have some coffee. I was going to anyway and then I was like, oh, is this gonna hurt? And then I was like, no, caffeine's in Advil. <laughs> I'm just having some coffee, some of my smoothie. I'm regrouping, I'll fix my hair a little before my call in 30 minutes. I also realized that consultation to help Morgan launch her podcast is tomorrow, not today. So one less thing to do. Okay, I don't wanna say for some reason because I've earned it, but my vlog, the last one 
one before this is doing really well. Like usually within a day, it'll have maybe like a few hundred views, like 200 something just in the first 24 hours. We're at 800. It might not seem so crazy considering I have 6,000 followers or subscribers. And like there might be 6,000 of you, but how many are actually, you know, so many people just click subscribe after they see one video and then they like never see your content again. You can see on the back end of YouTube, it like shows you green arrows and like confetti and things like that. And it's like kind of showing a lot. I gained eight subscribers already, which is also not normal for a vlog. I've been doing a lot of research as you guys have seen and throughout my vlogs of like, I'll sit down and have research sessions where I'm like, what videos are doing well that's similar to my content? And I like analyze why and I use it. And I, so I'd like to think that like, I'm nailing something here with my own research and like how I'm doing my vlogs. But I'm also just curious, like is YouTube pushing it out? Is it seeing on being consistent? Like there's gotta be more there. So curious to see, to like analyze it after a few few days of it, seeing how many views it ends up reaching before it slows down and then like analyze it. I think if you're a YouTuber and I'll, I can create like a whole video on this, but I think what's working is I'm trying to make them a little more vague in the sense that like, you know how like huge vloggers will be like day in my life, Trader Joe's, nail appointment. And it's just like very mundane tasks. You'll watch whatever their vlog is. In researching the vlogs that have popped off for people, cause that's hard to do, get a vlog to like go viral. It's more vague. It's like work day, living in New York. York City or like day in my life as a consultant in New York City. So it's like more broad rather than being like so mundane, something someone wouldn't want to click on. So this one wrote like how I'm juggling three part-time jobs in NYC, whatever this thing is, the line work day in my life vlog. So that could be why. I don't know. I'm going to answer some emails, edit a video, Shelby's video and get my life together before that call. It's raining if you couldn't tell. So I'm using my umbrella as a way to avoid eye contact with people who are looking at me vlogging. It is, what day is it even? It's Thursday today. It's actually a fun day because we have a candle launch party store opening tonight. So I'm gonna head there with Carla. We have a consultation today. I have like a really quick one hour shift at Rumble because someone's leaving their shift early and they just needed someone to step in for an hour. And I was like, I'll take the 15 bucks. Sure, because I can. So we're heading to get Yanni's coffee. Coffee. And next time I go to Trader Joe's, I'm just gonna get a tug of cold brew because Ethan has yet to fix our Nespresso machine and we all know I'm not doing that. So I'm just waiting for the Nespresso machine to come back to life. I've been getting all my free coffees at Blank Street, but for some reason it's closed this morning. I assume like because of the rain, someone kind of get to work or something, I don't know. I'm getting Yanni's and I'm rambling. rainy day and we're trying out New York Pilates. Full circle moment, that was my first YouTube video ever, ever, ever. I tried out New York Pilates and reviewed it for YouTube. Now we're gonna go do it for TikTok. Okay, it's not that bad out, it's not raining that bad. I gotta chug my coffee, I just added maca powder into it. As you can see, it's like dark in here because it's a really gloomy day out. And I just wanna put my hair up in a slicked back bun that's not in my way during the class. See, I'm gonna look at my schedule. Maybe I'll, I'll probably just go straight to Rumble. I'm so tired. I think like the rainy vibes make you more tired. Yeah, I'm just gonna go straight to Rumble. Then I come home and I'm gonna do a consultation with Morgan who was just on my podcast to launch her podcast, help her with that, and then record a Q&A for my podcast next week. And that's the day. That's a pretty good day if you ask me because then we have an event today and hopefully it stops raining. the gloominess or what, but I completely forgot to put my hair up in a bun or anything and like brush my eyebrows. Like I just rolled out of bed and came here. And that's very unlike me. I never wear makeup or anything, but like I always, I'll put my hair up for the workout. Oh, I don't know. My hair is, I'm just not, I don't know. Rainy days are weird. grateful moment of I love my life, which means Pilates makes me feel really good. That's what I'm leaving feeling. 
because I'm headed over to Rumble and I'm just like, wow, I got to spend my morning creating content that I love, that a new workout class for free to create a TikTok and I'm proud of the footage I got. And I get to now go work at Rumble for a few hours and then at Pump Station, I'm just like, created all this for myself. I've been working so hard for a few years to be able to cultivate a situation where that's my day. I've done it. Like I just am realizing that's literally my ideal day that I described years ago when I was in my full-time job. So it's just cool to see when you actually follow through and work hard and like make shit happen for yourself. Let's go to Rumble. All right, I came home and ate and I've honestly just been dealing with having anxiety while also trying to get work done. I've just been like editing a video and now I have a consultation with someone where I'm gonna help her launch her podcast. But to help me a little bit with the anxiety before I hop on, I'm going to light a candle. A little calmer while I'm on my call. I had Natalie McMillan on my podcast. It's The episode's not out yet, but she sent me as a gift a candle from her shop and it's like one of the best candles I've ever had. I love like how simple it looks and with these men Matches. Oh, she actually, now that I mention it, she gave me a code to put in the show notes of my podcast for you guys to purchase from her website. So for the candle, I'll link that below. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm good. How are you? Good. I like your sweatshirt. Oh, thank you. Carla to go to Ruby's for dinner and drinks before we head to the Candle Otherland store event. I don't know what I'm wearing. I look confused, but thank God for the slick back trend because my hair was disgusting. Carla, what's your favorite thing about Jen? Everything. Can't pick one. You have to. It's the game. That's a hard one. I have to come up with something. All right. After a few sips of your drink. while well, I'm at the desk. My shift's about to be over. I've been here obviously since 6.30, it's 12.30. I'm on my last day of the SIBO antibiotics. I'm going to end the vlog here, but I feel the same. I also have my period, so I don't feel great, but I might have to do another round of antibiotics. I don't know, I'll keep you posted in the next video. But my last vlog did really well. We like got a lot of new subscribers. So if you're new, welcome. I'm so, so happy to have you part of this community. And I'm vlogging just basically around the clock, days of my life, week in my life, all of the things. So stick around, subscribe if you're new and haven't subscribed yet. And I will see you guys next week.